Hi, this is Ryan, and I'm going to do another demo for OpenSCAD. Uh, this time, to complement the T-nut slot, uh, T-slot nut, we are going to make a clamp down or bolt down clamp for that. Um, it should be a fairly easy part. Again, three or four different model parts with various functions ran on them. Uh, I think I'm going to use an intersection, but because uh, I think it's going to look really cool when I print it out. Um, but yeah, let me just pull up this. Uh, this is the OpenSCAD manual. Um, it's in Wikibooks. It's really useful. I have it pulled up side by side whenever I'm doing OpenSCAD. Um, I usually just pull up the OpenSCAD language bit. I, I don't really use the t uh, 2D subsystem and the STL uh, import. I use the export, but that's fairly easy. Um, but yeah, here, we're going to open this up and start. I'm going to do something a little different, and I open this up for that. I'm going to pull up this cylinder, and then Control F, find cylinder, and I'm going to make something similar to this device. Um, larger bottom, smaller type, top, kind of like a cone. But it won't be a cone. So let's start now with a cylinder parenthesis. R1 equals, um, what do we do? I'm going to do 10. And then R2 is going to be half that, so we're going to say 5. And that's a equals rather than a or comma. And how tall will that be? That'll be, let's just do 5. 5 is a nice round number. See how that looks. Um, that, and F5, and that is our initial part. Uh, again, it's kind of like a cone with a cut-off top. Um, I don't like that. I'm going to make the height a little smaller, I think. Let's go to 3. That looks more like the part that I have envisioned in my head. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to do a... I always forget if it's a sort of difference or subtraction. Um, it does matter. If you type in one, it'll give you something called like a top layer issue. So remember, it's difference. Spell it correctly. Curly bracket. I just tab over. It gives me a little bit of separation. I find it easier to work that way. Cylinder. Um, and this is just going to go straight through. I'm going to actually have it be just like um, two. Nah, that's too small. Maybe let's try three. Three is the height. Let's just try one, actually. We're going to see how that looks. And then the height's just going to be the same height as the uh, initial. This is just going to bore a hole through it. Um, should look fairly good. And parentheses semicolon, enter, curly bracket. And there we go. Now we're going to put it into, we're going to hit F6. F6 brings it into um, compile and render with CG cal, uh, CGL. I don't know what that means. Um, it's just a different um, cleaner rendering mode. Um, if we can see, it has our hole as a pentagram again. Um, you know what, I'm going to bring up the resolution of that by using the uh, dollar sign $fn equals, what did I do last time? I think it did 10. Uh, again, F6, get a little cleaner render. 10 may be a little much. Um, I like bringing it down as um, dirty as it can be, as low resolution. It's easier to render. It's quicker to print. And that's what I care about. See, even 8 looks pretty good, uh, especially for that small size. And honestly, if you print this out and file it down, it'll look really good. It'll be a nice round hole. And let's actually, I'm going to play around with the um, larger cone-like object. I'm going to say that's probably, let's try that at 5. Yep, see, not even good. But with 10, that's more like it. 15. Go to 20. Uh, 30 actually looks pretty. That looks actually kind of like it did initially. 
I'm happy with that. All right. So right now that's a difference um, and a two um, elementary objects. We're going to try something called an intersection. So what an intersection does creates an intersection of all child no nodes, uh, keeping the overlapping proportion. I don't know where that accent came from, but it just came. So you see that. That'll give a pretty neat little thing. We're going to bring up this. Tab, 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 tab. And home. Intersection. Ba -da -ba. Curly. And go to the back of this and do that. Um, where did my object go? Oh, there it is. Cool. Uh, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to do a... It says cube. I don't like how this is written. Because it's not a cube. Um... Radius is 10, so this is going to be 20. Um, let's do this as 5, and this is the Z, and the Z is just going to be the same height as the other object. And we do... I almost forgot the semicolon. The semicolon is important. If you don't do it, it will not compile. And you see what that does. So right now, this is a 20 by 5 by 3 cube intersection of this object. It's kind of like a, uh, a uh, just a slight little piece. Now I'm trying to figure out... We're going to play with this a little bit and see if adding 10 changes anything. No, it does not. So what that means to me is that it's not centered. Uh, this is par probably the hardest part of this program is finding out how it actually works. Um, I always forget the translation parts with the where the, the cylinders and the cubes all set themselves up differently. It's kind of frustrating. But you figure it out fairly quickly. Uh, we're just going to do some experimentation to see how it works. Um, I'm just doing 10 and the x. So 10 and the x makes it disappear. How about 20 and the y and the x reverses it. And 10 does that. So it looks like we're going to have to move this up by 5. Nope. Minus 5. Nope. Minus 2.5, and I hit something. I hit F rather than that, and that does it. Um, I don't know. Let's see how that uh, renders. Um, it looks okay. I think I'm going to bring this uh, R2 to 2.5. I think that looks a little better. It adds some new lines. It makes it a little harder to render. But I think it looks a little prettier. Um, and that's just a bolt-down bit for the uh, T-slot. So what you do is you would put a washer. Or you get the T-slot. You put a bolt in that T-slot. You put this onto that bolt. Put a washer. And then I would put a... Uh, a, uh, the uh, twisty nut. Um, I'm trying to think what they're called. All interesting. Yeah, that's not going to help me. Um, search nut hardware. Wing nut, wing nut, that's what it's called. You would use a wing nut to uh, bolt that down to the object. And then the uh, CNC cutter, laser cutter, 
Um, you probably use it for sawing things or routing things up by hand. But yeah, it's fairly easy, it's quick, and fun. Um, I'm gonna put this on YouTube and share it around. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment here, email me at baslisk or basliskss at gmail.com. Um, Google+, Facebook, you can probably find me anywhere. I'm on Twitter with the same name, um, Basilisks. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just hit me up. Thanks. Good night.